So lift those arms up. Keep that thigh tight. Relax the shoulders, but lift the heart. And we are about to begin. As soon as that music starts, go to your right. And side stretch to the left. Good. Twist to the right. Now twist to the left. And bend the knee and dip. And bend the left knee and dip. Good. Flat back. Right to left. Left to right. Forward bend and stand. Second round. Side stretches. Now twist right. Center and lift. Good. Now bend the right knee crunch. Good. Get a little twist in the body. Good. Flat back. Good. And we go to a third round. People do love to hear the music and move their bodies. And that particular dance is one that we do um, for teaching the body freedom of movement. It's very important to let the body know and feel to, to move. And that's what helps the body to feel in balance and healthy. A lot of the times we're either sedentary or we're running about our day and not necessarily just having a sense of length, movement, flow, all of that is what helps the actual conversation in the body to move into a balanced state. So I hope that felt good to you. Good. So now we're going to take your chair again. And the last thing we're going to do today is going to be a um, variation of the sun salutation that you could do with the chair. So you're going to take a chair. Good, and you want to stand in front of it. Okay. And let me grab back so you can see. Good job. Now, you have to be very careful when you're using a chair. I'm using this in the middle of the room in order to show you um, the movements that we're going to do for length in the back of the body. You might want to put this chair up against a table or a countertop a wall, something that's going to make sure that you don't slide because you don't want to put a lot of weight onto the chair, but you certainly don't want to put full weight on the chair in a way that slides that chair out from under you. So stabilizing it may be important, okay? So we're going to bring palms together in front of your heart. Stand about 10 inches, 12 inches away from the chair, feet pointing forward, palms in front of the heart, lift the heart. Remember, lengthen up. And then we're going to inhale, stretch up, exhale, fold forward, and hands are on the chair. Then we're going to step the right foot back and push that right heel down and just lengthen out that right hamstring. Keep that foot there, step the left foot back. And with two heels down now, begin to press your tailbone back behind you. And you'll notice a stretch in the hamstrings, perhaps in the calves. You're just going to find a conversation, a stretch. Breathe with it. If you can go back further, press back, wherever that edge is. If it's right here, you're doing good work. I hope you're breathing. So take some conscious breath with that stretch that you're creating in your body. Good work. Now we rock onto the toes, and then you just start to lean your weight into the chair. And, and what that does is starts to build upper body strength and also allows you to get some opposite stretch, a little length in the spine. 
one direction and then let us back again into the downward dog and do another nice long lengthening stretch in the hamstrings and the spine. Then we're going to step the right foot forward and the left foot forward. Lift all the way up and stretch. Nice long stretch. Bring hands back to the chair. Step the left foot back. Then press that left heel down and just get that stretch in the left calf and the left hamstring. And then we're going to take that right foot back as well. And with two heels pressing down, once again, press that tailbone back. Just go wherever you feel a stretch. Your hamstrings over time will lengthen and warm. You'll be able to press deeper, but just find a comfortable as you now breathe with it. Now move back into your upward facing dog. So you lean into the chair a bit, chest comes toward the arms, and then you move back into the downward dog and stretch. Breathe, step your left foot forward and your right foot forward as you lift all the way up and stretch, and then bring palms together again in front of the heart. Good work. All right, let's do that again in a little bit faster pace. Reach up and stretch, fold forward, right foot steps back and left. Now tailbone pressing back, long sleeping breaths here. Now into your upward facing dog. Now back to your downward dog. Step the right foot forward and the left foot and lift all the way up and lengthen out. Fold forward, hands on the chair. Left foot stepping back and right foot. Downward dog. Upward facing dog. Good. Back to your down dog. Left foot stepping forward and right. Lift all the way up and stretch and close. Good work. Okay. So I'm coming back again now just to sit in my chair. Please join me in sitting in your chair. And after we've worked the body with a bit of our uh, Thai dance and some length, let's just once again, your feet on the floor, sit toward the edge of your chair a little bit. Good. Lift the heart, relax the shoulders. Just closing the eyes or gently looking down at the floor now for just a moment. Go inside and start to feel what is most significant about lengthening and stretching. Just feel, notice what you feel. And then tap back into awareness of your breath. So we primed that breath with some counted balanced breathing, and we're going to end now with a little bit of lengthening the exhale. So we're going to inhale, count how long you breathe in, and then double how long you exhale. So if you breathe in, two, three, we're going to exhale to six. Make sure if you breathe in to four, you'll pace it out to eight. And if you run out of breath before you get to that end count on the exhale, just try to slow it down the next time. And in this way, what we're actually doing, your exhale is like the exhaust system of a car. It's actually releasing toxins. And it's also strengthening the diaphragm so that when you are not thinking about breathing, you are getting a better breath in and a more extended breath out. And that is what helps you, once again, to release toxins, to um, oxygenate the nervous system, the brain, and all of the cells in the body. So let's practice together now. We're going to begin by just starting to count how long you breathe in and then double the exhale. As you are in the process of continuing to count your breath and notice that lengthened exhale, releasing by getting every bit of that air that's in the lungs out. By lengthening the exhale, we actually challenge that diaphragm, the muscle at the base of the rib cage, to work a little bit longer for us so that we're actually able to have the uh, lung capacity to then draw in more air over time just to 
keep oxygenating and continue to eliminate toxins, tensions, negativity that we don't need to hold on to. Okay? As you now release cow pig, just move into feeling your breath. There's a natural rhythm that will emerge just in taking these next few moments to continue to breathe. And as you are breathing, relax the muscles of the face. Bring your attention to the soles of the feet. And just start to notice where you can soften throughout the body, just working your way up the ankles, shins and calves, muscles around the kneecaps and the thighs. Just in a few moments of just working through with your awareness, sensing what's happening in each area of the body, moving into the belly, the chest, feeling the chest and the heart center, and the shoulders, and then move into the back of the body, and sensing the back and softening there. Finding now the most relaxed place in the body. Just in your attention, rest your attention into this place that feels most relaxed. And it could just be a tiny little area. It could be in your pinky. Or it could be somewhere that you've noticed you've been able to soften and breathe into. And just rest your attention into this most relaxed place. When we are conscious, awake, and studying and feeling relaxation, we actually are planting that and plugging it into the hard drive of the brain, and that becomes a memory and a pattern that begins to speak to all of the cells in the body. So as you keep your attention here, awake and relaxed, you are able now to begin to talk to new cells being born right now that are in with this information about taking this relaxed, quiet, present time. And you're also informing your cells of the body and all the systems that you are feeling relaxed and grounded in harmony and balance. Very important information in order to restore, recover, and rejuvenate all the systems of your body. So I hope that you really uh, have a great day. We're going to turn the left palm up and the right palm down, okay? Intending to receive the benefits of your work through your left hand and plug that right hand right into you. Just rest it on your right leg so that you are receiving the benefits of what you've done today and plug them right into your own well-being. This is just a wonderful intention and an acknowledgement that self-care matters that you make a difference in your own well-being. Receiving the benefits of your work. And then bringing the palms together in front of your heart in prayer pose. Honor now um, the harmony and balance, wisdom, strength within you. May the 